Hi hey guys, today we're gonna go ahead and um, show you how to make a dehydrator a filament drying thingy. So one of the problems I had uh, was that I was using one kilo of a filament and you know like maybe your project is 500 grams or 600 grams so you print one set and you're trying to print the second one and you're stopping in the middle and then you have to replace it so if you're going to print a lot of stuff or if you're printing something large objects and you're gonna print a bunch of it uh, probably best way to go is with the three kilos I've got, got here so I've got this I ordered this straight from China. I actually ordered a ton of filament, literally a ton of filament. I was like, I ordered this during the middle of uh, the winter. So the problem with three kilos, there's not really like consumer grade uh, dryer, right? So there's a simple solution for that. And you can also use this, the dehydrator solution. A lot of people use a food dehydrator. I got this particular model on Amazon and had it shipped to here in South Korea. I think this was like 50 bucks. I have the one, the consumer grade one that I think I actually paid more from China. And that thing does, you can only fit like one kilo uh, spool filament. So you're gonna just basically grab this food dehydrator. All right, and this thing is perfect. This particular model, I find it perfect. So I have, actually this is my second one and I, I was gonna save it so I can show you how to convert it into a filament dehydrator. Pretty easy. Now one of the cool things about this one, it's got temperature dial. So you can set it about like 130, 140 degrees Celsius. And I think, oh sorry, F, yeah. So you can really set it exactly how you want it. Um, so all you're gonna do is start cutting away from the top here. Um, just grab some pliers and start just just doing that. You're just gonna have to break it off. And uh, yeah, let's just do this. I'm gonna have to stand up. And do this. Kind of painful to break a product to make a new product. But that's what it is. So just break all this sides. You can also just sort of push on it. Now that's a lot better. Sneezer. Yeah, that might be better. Push on here and then just keep pushing down. Yeah. Oh, that's so much faster. <laughs> yeah, I think that's how I did it. Eventually I figured it out. Okay, there goes two. Might want to, oh my God, I'm bleeding. Okay, guys, so just wear some nice tough gloves. You shouldn't be bleeding. Yeah, that's way easier. Oh yeah. So that's looking really good. And a little bit more to go. And yeah, just press up the ends. Ah. Uh, Last one. Oh, you know what? You might actually need the last layer, so just leave it. You need something to stand on. <laughs> so once you have that, you got the second layer, third layer, fourth layer, and fifth layer. And boom shakalaka, it's a perfect fit. Uh, so there you have it and you can get one of these timers uh, And do it now. I got, I got this. I just opened it up grab my three kilo spool um, Perfect air dryer dehydrator. I usually leave it for like almost 24 hours um, to fully just dry out all my filaments, but this works great for TPU uh, Pet G you name it. This is the best way $50 boom shakala so you will see that uh, I have a trance because I'm in South Korea. I've got it set up to about 135 degrees Fahrenheit uh, for this TPU material, black TPU. It's 
quite well. Um, I can have the other one so I can do two at a time. I also got internet enabled Tapo. This is like a, it's a, you can basically turn it on, um, use timers so I can turn it off if I forget to turn it off uh, using uh, an app. So you can do that, pretty cool setup. A uh, large size um, dryer. I think this is the best method to do three kilos. You can even do one kilo to fit any kind of filament. Have a great day.